So hello folks and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about launch control on the XSR 900. Now the XSR 900 does not come with launch control as default. It is part of the Woolwich racing tools that I have had installed whenever I did my tune for my exhaust and I got my quick shifter and auto blipper installed. Um, but it's a quite a cool feature that I haven't really played around with that much until just recently and I thought I'd share my experiences with you, uh, what I like about it and um, yeah just kind of what it is and how it works. So launch control essentially is a mechanism that the electronics on the bike use to enable you to launch as quickly and as safely and as controllably as possible. Now this is achieved by a couple of things so the first thing that happens is that whenever you're at a standstill whenever you're at a stop and you pull the clutch in in first gear that's what actually engages launch control and says to the computer hey we're we're possibly about to do a bit of a launch here now the next thing that happens is that whenever you roll the throttle back no matter how hard or how far you roll the throttle back it's going to limit the amount of revs that are able uh, that it's able, actually able to go to. It's going to limit the amount of revs that it's actually able to go to. So in my case it's going to limit it at 7000 RPM. Um, so even if I pull the throttle back all the way it's going to still remain at 7000 RPM and this is a good way um, to help keep you from you know revving into 11,000 dumping the clutch and you know flying into the air. The next thing that it will do is as you release the clutch out it's actually going to programmatically increase the amount of fuel as a ramp into the engine so that it's not just dumping all of that at once. It's actually going to ramp up the, um, the, the amount of fueling into the engine over a set period of time to enable you to quickly and controllably launch the bike as quickly as possible. Sorry, one second. There we are. Um, so, that's essentially what it does. Now, there are a couple of things to consider and be aware of. Now, it's not a system that is going to be a complete nanny state system. You can't just pull up to a stoplight, rip the throttle back, dump the clutch, and expect everything to go well. There's, there's two things that can happen. One, you can stall the bike with launch control. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can over, uh, you can dump the clutch too quickly and it will stall and it's a um, relatively aggressive stall too because it thinks it's about to go and then it doesn't. Um, and you can also wheelie. Um, so on both ends of the spectrum you can, you can release too quickly and you can also um, have the front end cup on, come up on you, especially if you're with TC0. So just a couple of things to be prepared for it's not something where it's like oh this is gonna now make me able to you know just drop the clutch put the put the accelerator all the way up and everything's gonna be fine uh, it's built for aggressiveness it's built to get off the line as quickly as possible so you should be prepared to have some pretty aggressive things happen to you so now let's uh let's pull up to a, an appropriate spot up here in just a few moments and we are going to go ahead and test this for you so you can see what it's actually like in practice. TCS off. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> The front end definitely comes up with TCS off. That's fantastic. It feels great. It doesn't, you know, it, it feels aggressive. It feels fast, right? But it doesn't feel uncontrolled. It doesn't feel like you're going to fly backwards up into the sky and, and you know, completely yeet yourself to a kingdom come. It, um, it's, it's fast, it's aggressive, it's, um, it's just a hell of a lot of fun to be honest. Um, it's ridiculous, I don't need it, 
but why not have something that makes you smile, right? Gotta do that again. That was too much fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh man. Wow. This thing has too much power. DC off is just asking for a wheelie. You notice there, because I, I was I was clearly managing the throttle. I wasn't I was not full throttle, and you saw whatever I opened it up. The moment I opened it up a bit more, it's just like whoop. Yes, this is why you keep TC on. All right, I'm going to do one more pull and I'm going to put TC on and I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with it and see how we get on with that. Okay. TC one. Here we go. Now I'm coming. Okay. still get the lift. You can still get that front end picking up, even with TC1 on. So there you have it folks. That is launch control on the XSR 900. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, give me a subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.